At Donner Summit, howling wind and blinding snow, trapping cars and even four-wheel drives without enough traction. Basically, you can't go anywhere. The storm's kept the stop wide out, can't see anything, you know? And it's night. What are you going to do? Sleep in the car. Enough to make you feel just a little bit like a latter-day Donner party. It was raining, and all of a sudden, it got really bad in like five or ten minutes. And, and now you are stuck also. And now my car is over there and it's buried in snow. In conditions like these, if you leave your car for very long, you may come back and find it not just buried, but buried under a crust that can make it very hard to dig out. Conditions treacherous enough by the freeway, but days of heavy wind-driven snow creating extreme conditions in the backcountry. Now to give you an idea why there's avalanche danger and conditions up here that are very dangerous in the mountains, look at this. This is how unstable this snow can get when you've got layer upon layer sitting on top of one another and it doesn't take much to send it crashing down. Down lower, the days of very heavy rain soaking deeply into the earth, loosening mud and rock. This collapsing hillside just east of Colfax keeping one of two westbound lanes of Interstate 80 closed all day and into Sunday night with plenty more rain still ahead. It's always going to be something to look out for and then even further up um, Caltrans has even been warning of avalanches and stuff with the excess of snow. A lot of wet snows on the lighter snow and that uh, creates a hazard. As night comes on some drivers getting hit so hard they pull over till the winds die down. I have not seen it like this ever. Uh, we couldn't even see but feels like a mini blizzard when you're driving <laughs> and you can't see everything freezes up